The bottom edge of this painting really interests me because in virtually any painting you will see, when a form breaks the edge like that, it means absolutely nothing. It's just the nature of all forms, is they meet the edge of the painting and they pass through it. That's what stuff does. That's called the world through the window. But in this case, if you look carefully, you'll realize that that little missing piece at the bottom of the painting is recaptured in the lower left of the black form because that whole form is symmetrical through the gray top coming down. So it's not just an arbitrary meeting of the edge, it's a coincidence that that is the exact same event as what's going on in the lower left of the black form. That almost never happens in painting, where little changes like that, the way forms meet the edge, actually is content. I mean, this painting works with, with the exact same idea. There's a literal point where the blue-gray rectangle touches the upper right edge of the painting, and a little piece is missing. And it looks very naturalistic. It's just, well, it ran off the page. But if you look, it's actually reflected back down into the lower left of that form, making it the same notion of these internal symmetries that was in the last one I mentioned. 